Hello everybody, it's my Keto. I'm getting this video out earlier because I have to work tomorrow morning and I have to be up really early. So I thought I'd go ahead and get the research out. Um, they already have most of the lines out. There's only, there's only, there's not too many games, at least like the big European games. They're all on Saturday, but I did say I'd make a video for Friday. So I'm gonna keep mine of the bargain. Don't think that I haven't been posting just cause I don't want to post. I have said before, there just hasn't been any games because they were all playing for their countries. But everybody's back. Um, like I said, there's only going to be two really main European games, but they're all going to be tomorrow. But um, first, going over last video, the player props weren't that good. I sent four. Um, one of them, uh, DMP, because he didn't start. Then out of the other three, only Engelson hit, Budrik missed, and Mavro Palos hit. But when it came to the money lines, I swept those. I went 4 0 on those. So I did pretty good on that one. Um, I know I had a lot of people send me their slips and stuff. Um, I put them all together and they all hit. So hopefully we can keep that one going. And with the European game starting, hopefully we can start uh, another run going. My first pick is going to be Augusto Batalla under 3.5 saves playing away from home for Granada going up against Cadiz. He's not like a good keeper or anything like that. Um, when you look at how many goals he's prevented, compared to how many he should have. He has conceded almost four goals less than what he should have. Like he let four in that he shouldn't have let in. Um, he let in mine, negative 3.67. And the reason why I also say that is because Cadiz only really averaged around 3.4 shots on target at home. While I do understand that Granada is um, bottom of the table, they only allow around 13 shots a game, which is actually pretty average, even a little below average. And um, he had two at home against them last game, which they were at home, so you got to keep that in mind. But I just feel like 3.5 is too high of a mark uh, for him. Uh, he would need to get four saves to go over, and I would doubt that even if Cadiz get four on target, that at least one or two will go in because, like I said, he's, it's not like he saves a lot of good shots that he should have. If You, you can still take him at 3.0. Uh, just because I don't think he gets four, but at 3.5, I just think it's too high of a mark for him to get. My next pick is Bryce Samba, over 3.5 saves, playing away from home. Four lands going up against Lille. Both teams are fighting for European spots. Um, I believe Lille is fighting to get a Champions League spot, and Lens is fighting for like Europa League or Europa Conference League. So they're both fighting for like the main like tournaments for next season. And the main reason why teams fight for those was one, obviously because they want to play in them, and two, because they get incentivized money-wise to play in those tournaments and make it far in those tournaments. So they're both fighting for their spots. So they're both going to be um, shooting the ball a lot. Samba saves 74.8% of his shots, which is actually really good. He's a pretty good keeper. And he averages a little over three saves a game, which he's already at his average. So we just need him to get one more to get that fourth. And the reason why I think he will is because Lil averaged 6.7 shots on target a game, which is really high and really good. Lil is pretty really good attackingly. They have Jonathan David, Zagrova, who are not afraid to take shots and they'll shoot if they get the chance. And because he's a good keeper, he will save a good percentage of those shots. And Lil keepers the team that he's going against at home the other keeper has gone over this mark in the last five out of five home games so i like this mark for zamba to go over 3.5 saves away from home against lil those were the only two that i found that are really that i actually liked on underdog because if you notice that a lot of the shots that they put out up are all like the times 0.9 like they don't give you like the exact uh payouts anymore which i'm not really liking that too much so i did i know a lot of people like price picks as well so i went over the price picks and kind of looked around the only lean that i kind of like was adam armstrong um over 2.5 shots um the reason why i'm thinking of he's a lean more than anything is just because uh southampton are kind of like th their spot for promotion is kind of secure like they're not like unless they start losing a lot of games it should be fine so i don't know if he'll start or not but the only pick that i actually did like um on price picks was haji Wright over 2.5 shots Playing away from home for Coventry, going up against Huddersfield Town. Huddersfield is fighting for relegation. Um, they don't want to go down to the bottom next tier in the English uh, leagues. So they're going to be attacking. They have to attack Coventry. They can't afford to draw because they need to get the three points. So they're going to attack. So 
So there's going to be a good chance for Haji Rai, who's a striker, to counterattack and to get three shots. Um, he averages 3.63 shots per 90. And the reason why I say it is because, one, he played off the bench in the beginning of the season. But ever since starting, he's been picking it up. So I like the 3.63 per 90 because he, if he plays the full minutes, which I think he will, because they are also fighting for their uh, spot for promotion, they need to expect him to play the whole game. The only way I see him not playing the full minutes is if they start destroying Huddersfield like 2-3-0 and they sub him out. But even if that's the case, he would be a contributing factor in that. So I like Haji Wright to go over 2.5 shots. He's their top scorer. He's in good form. He's done pretty good. And coming back from international break after just winning a trophy, he'll have good motivation to continue that form. And then when it comes to my money line picks, these next four are all under England Championship. That's the second division in the England uh, leagues. The first one is the Leicester money line going up against Bristol City. This is a must win for Leicester City. They were top of the table and they were up by like 10 points, which is like the equivalent of like four games in um, NBA terms. Cause I know a lot of you guys know about NBA and they were choked. They're kind of choking it right now. They're equal on points. They're technically second place right now, but they do have a game behind. So they need to win this game if they want to keep their lead. And Bristol's not, they're like a mid tier team. And Leicester, they, like, I expect them to win. They have to go attack and I expect them to win that game. My next pick is over 2.5 goals for the Huddersfield and Coventry game. Uh, like I said, both teams need to attack because Coventry uh, are fighting for promotion to get to the Premier League, while Huddersfield is fighting to not go down the division um, for relegation to the other th the third league in England. And Coventry have gone over home and away. Keep in mind on both sides, Coventry have gone over 2.5 goals in their last five out of five games. So I like um, if you look at the odds, it's kind of like 50-50. But I, I really like the over on that one. Uh, my next pick is the Norwich money line going up against Plymouth. Uh, they're great at home. Norwich is great at home while Plymouth is really bad away. And again, Norwich is also a must win because they are also fighting for a promotion spot. A lot of the teams that I'm targeting are because they need to win. So they need to attack. My next one is Preston money line going up against Rotherham. Uh, Rotherham is the worst team away from home they are horrible away from home and Preston are playing at home so I expect them to take care of business and beat them and for my last pick this is under France League One I kind of went over the game it is I need Lil to win or draw going up against Lens they've only lost once at home and if you look at their last five games Lil are undefeated they are in pretty decent form compared to Lens who are kind of iffy they've kind of they've lost like two or three and they kind of picking it up in their last two but you know they came back from international break so they've had a break but Lil are in better form they've only lost one at home they're in really good form so I doubt they'll lose you can take some plus money for Lil to win but I expect this game to be low scoring if uh, Lil win it'll be 1-0 but I expect this game to be like 1-1 or something like that so those are my five money line picks Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, I know I haven't been posting a lot, but it's because there hasn't been any games. But the games are starting back up this weekend, so I'm going to be posting every day now. And uh, hopefully we can start another run going as we did like a week or two ago before the games ended. But we went 4-0 on money lines on our last video. Um, I gave you all five money lines and three player picks with one potential lean. But hopefully we cash out, and I appreciate everybody's support lately. Uh, hopefully we catch out tomorrow. Have a good day.